Check it out. So I've been breaking down some extra blank stickers from all my custom prints. We got seven different colors, a little bit of everything in the kind of color rainbow here, as well as we got two different sizes. So let's see what we get into it with a little throwback sticker session. Gotta get my drawing mat down. Let's pull out some paint markers next. Got those Thorntons I reviewed a little while back, as well as kind of my mix match pack of anything from Molotov to Posca's in that second box. Maybe even run some Blick alcohol markers on there. And a calligraphy tip for good measure. Quite the makeshift setup, but we'll make it happen. Alright, so like I said, I've got those Thornton kind of on the cheaper side of paint markers. Then we got some Molotow, some Postcas, some Montana in here. So we got a little bit of everything to run on these. So these stickers definitely prefer the paint markers. You know, anything from the oil based like the Thorntons to the acrylics should all hold up great. These are somewhat of a plastic, somewhat of a paper sticker. It's kind of a mix between both. So not nearly as durable as vinyls, but it's a nice happy medium, a little bit better than paper. So some water durability as well as some kind of longevity in the streets. So I'm going to be opting for the paint markers to kind of double down on that, have some better durability out of these, as well as maybe mix in a few tags with uh, the calligraphy or whatnot. Might as well hit some tags to start off, get a little warmed up. Orange seems like a, a nice situation for that. Where did that calligraphy go off to? Do one of each color and see how the red and black lines up. Double blue here. Now we're warming up. Look at that. Dark blue on light blue is a super nice touch. See if the Double green looks just as good. Not quite as great of contrast. Maybe I'll come back and hit that with a, a black or something over top. Now that we've played around with some quick ones, let's do a little uh, deep dive into a combo here. Got a couple ideas for stacking some colors up. I think that dark blue will work well across the board here. Maybe let's try to do a little freestyle straight letter.
All right, so I was running dry on my black markers, to say the least, so I had to then go and pick up a Sharpie painter. It's all Hobby Lobby had for kind of decent quality paint markers, so not my first choice. I was hoping for maybe something in the Montana or Molotov range, but Sharpie paint, it'll uh, last me a little while at least, and went for that fine tip. So, nice for the outlines as well. Got a piece in mind for the last kind of sticker finale. Let's get this sticker set up. I'm thinking of kind of going back to that multicolor phase and doing maybe a split kind of pinwheel with all the colors instead. So let's see how that lines up and, and works out. So I'm thinking I'm gonna need about two stickers of each color, so two yellow, two red, two white, two blue. Some crunched up oranges in here. Uh, we can make some of that work. In a sense, in breaking open some more. And looks like I need some green as well as some pinks. All right, retrieve some green and pink. So for this piece design, I'm thinking kind of doing a span spiral of all the colors. Or I could even try and do the colors and somewhat of the momentum of the piece. So have Green's coming up, maybe pink coming over. Tile it like this. Thinking the pinwheel might be a little bit better use. To kind of fan them out and have the piece almost maybe emanate from, from that center. Got a layup overlap. I think I'm gonna aim for like a 45 degree angle right up the center of the sticker. All right, check it. So I wanted to do one last kind of multicolor sticker. Here we got the kind of pinwheel one and then the just linear breaks. But I was thinking of doing one where I do a single color letter on a single color sticker and then do a different color outline on the next one. And kind of see how that builds up. So I definitely like the dark blue on the green, but I think the dark blue on blue would be a kind of more complimentary look. I don't know if I see any of those fresh off the batch. So maybe save that for blue. Save a dark purple for the pink. So we got, don't quite have a dark green. We've got black for green. Maybe uh, do the brown for the orange. Have a little bit slight transition between all those. So let's uh, see how that runs. Maybe even sketch something out so I got a nice back line. Make sure this looks fresh. Now that was quite the session all together. Did three different days kind of coming in and out of this and definitely happy with kind of the progress and the trajectory of it all. Super pumped with the 3D piece in the backdrop. Kind of cut each out individually and then did the little stand on the back to give something different. I don't know how I'll be storing this as it is a 3D piece, but 
for the 2D stuff. Let's go check out some of the slaps we went through and uh, get a close up on some of these throwies and tags. As uh, I'm sure the video was quickly sped and who knows what order they're left in right now. I can easily say my favorite way to use these stickers was just that single color, either throwy or tag, right on top of the colored backdrop or even the white ones and just the color on top popped super nicely. It was a quick and effective way to actually use the stickers and as long as you got some paint markers you can rock some quick nice tags and I'm pumped to see what kind of characters and whatnot people can come up with on these just because I'm not the biggest character drawer but I'm sure some single color characters on the variety of backdrops will be a, an effortless touch to the, the combination so very excited for that. And you can see I crushed out a bunch of these. The purple and white was a really sweet one. High contrast kind of stuff was a huge benefit here. Even got to mix in some, some new tag styles in there and practice up. So probably burned through 30 or 40 of these white ones. And then very happy with some of the other color combos as well. I wish I had uh, another black marker to run with this. All of mine seemed to be running low. And then the skinny one was uh, a little too thin for the 3x4 stickers, but come on, the purple on yellow, heat right there. And we got some green with the purple as well. A little funky one. Looking cool. So I'm actually going to be sending these out with you know, the next round of maybe a hundred different sticker packs I make. So expect to see a few hand drawns in the mix as I, I've been slacking myself. Only have mostly prints going out right now, but now I've got a, a nice backlog of stuff. And if you're interested in grabbing some of the blank packs, I'll have those on my website. I'm gonna start off with just, uh, you know, like $20 packs where you get uh, 250 blanks or 350 blanks and uh, go with those for the start just cause shipping's a little interesting. The stickers get quite a bit heavy when you do ship them in that size quantity, but that makes it easy for me. I can just print the labels out, get you something cool. And then uh, also makes uh, a nice big block and pretty much a brick of stickers at that point. So uh, I'll be running them as kind of multicolor packs so you get one of each color. And you can even make up big tiles like this or even go after a full 3D. But I'm, needless to say, excited to see what other people come up with using the blanks as a, as a medium. So we got the 3x4s, of course, the kind of smaller tag or throwy size ones or character size, I should say, as well. Forgot to use some of those alcohol calligraphies throughout the mix here. Definitely prefer the paint markers, um, but if you don't have them to run with, you can definitely get away with some black, kind of Sharpie based, or maybe some more tagging style markers. And then you got the four by sixes, of course, the bigger style, big throw ups on there, a little bit larger tags. Sloppy as all get out. But here we are with a variety of colors. I've got six different colors, I'm pretty sure. Let's see, I think I've still got all the packs laid out from the intro. So we got the red, the yellow, green, blue, and we also have orange and white. And then we got the pink. So seven colors. So let me check the quantities I was thinking of. So that four by six pack is going to come with 250 total stickers in the seven colors. So you're going to get 35 stickers of each. And that's a pretty healthy stack, honestly and basically equates to a full brick. And for sizing purposes, they're just a touch bigger than your new USPS blanks. So that'll give you plenty of room for characters, throwies, or tiling up for some bigger stuff. And then uh, the three by four pack, these are you know a little more timely to make. So I'm gonna be doing them in a mix kind of combo pack with the four by sixes. So in that pack, some of the four by sixes will get cut down into the three by four size. So you'll end up with 30 three by fours in each of the colors. So you'll get all seven of those. And then you'll end up with 20 of the 4x6s in that same color. So trade off a little bit to get some of the smaller guys as well, but I thought that was gonna be a fair mix and that comes into over 350 stickers. So, you know, same quantity of material at the end, but you get some alternate sizes and all the great colors all together. So I'll have links to that if you wanna check them out and get your uh, self set up with some new blanks and support the channel a little bit. But if you enjoyed all the sticker art I made, maybe feel free to drop that like and check some of this out. I'll have some more photos and whatnot 
on my Instagram. And hopefully I'll have uh, soon, soon after, maybe a week or so, a few photos and stuff to share of what other people are putting on, the cool colored backdrops. So uh, be sure to check that out. And also check out some of the other videos I've been posting. Tons of sticker submissions, of course, a couple other painting endeavors, and a little bit of everything tailoring out uh, the end of the summer. So excited for the, the new projects that I've got in the mix as well. But for now, huge sticker session to send it off. It's going to do it for me, guys. Peace.